we're at this critical moment, this time right now to decide the future of our society. My name is Dallas Goldtooth. I'm an organizer with the Indigenous Environmental Network. I'm a Dakota man from the Lower Sioux Dakota Nation in so-called Minnesota. The world's getting hotter. And the only way, the most direct, effective way to stop global temperature rise is to keep fossil fuels in the ground. That's it. In the worst case scenario of a spill, you have highly pressurized crude oil that could spill out at thousands and thousands of gallons per minute. see a lot of oil that could be going in to not only the river system itself, but into the aquifer that provides the, the wells for a lot of homes in the area, that provides the wells for uh, agriculture and, and for cattle feed. So the worst case scenario is a disaster. This movement is not a movement out of hate, but pure and simple a movement out of love. There was this one night in camp just at sunset and i'm standing on a, a large hill that's overlooking the camp and i'm hearing songs from four different tribal nations from four entirely different places across turtle island i'm hearing music from the pacific northwest native people from the, the pacific northwest from folks from the from the gulf coast from the east coast and all these songs are expressions of love for the water it's a fight beyond us it's something greater than us it's a fight to protect Mother Earth overall, a fight to protect the sacred integrity of Mother Earth and that spiritual essence of her lifeblood, the water. And that happens on a nightly basis of song and prayer and resistance. We're at this critical moment, this time right now, to decide the future of our society, whether we want to stay addicted to this fossil fuel regime to this colonial system that is predicated on the oppression of our people that makes us believe that we need more fossil fuel. It's a false narrative. We're in a time right now where we can see a just transition towards a sustainable, renewable energy system. And it just takes action. And so that's what we're seeing right now on the ground is action. I do it for my kids. By my efforts, by the work that I'm doing, hopefully I can create something better for them, a world more just, a world more sustainable than what I grew up in. And if I can do that, I, that's, that's mission accomplished. That's, I, that's, that's my hope, my dream.